In this video, I'm going to show you a quick little tip on how you can verify that your spark plugs are working properly and that they are not the reason why you're having a problem starting or running your engine. Now, over the years, I've owned personal watercraft, scooters, automobiles, and I've always used this method to test a spark plug if I felt there was a possibility that the spark plug was the reason why I was experiencing starting problems or or performance problems with the engine. Now before we get started we're just going to take a quick look at the inside of a spark plug with this image right here. You see the insulator on the spark plug and you have the end where the spark plug boot would snap onto. This connects all the way through to the electrode to the tip. In the center you have a resistor. Now not all of the spark plugs will have a resistor inside. The purpose of the resistor is to suppress ignition noise from interfering with your computer or your radio in your vehicle. Now lawn mowers and other things like that are generally not going to have a resistor. So it's just going to be a straight conductor all the way through on those without a resistor. Now if the plug does not have a resistor built into it, like I'm going to show you in a minute, all you have to do is take your digital multimeter on the lowest ohms range and measure between this part here and the tip. And you should get a very low reading. One ohm, half an ohm, or less from here to there. If you're checking one that has a resistor, which is more than likely on every automobile that's out there, you're going to find that the reading between this point and the end is going to be somewhere between 4,000 and 6,500 ohms. So when you check the plug, you're going to want to do these tests once when it's cold and once when it's hot because when the plug heats up if there's any cracks inside the electrode or the insulator it's going to affect how the spark plug operates so you're going to want to perform this test once when it's cold and once when it's hot to rule out the spark plug as being the cause of any of your starting problems or performance problems with your engine now once you verified that the spark plug if it has a built-in resistor has the range between four and six thousand ohms which I'm going to show you right now on this one set the digital multimeter to the 10 or 20 K setting Let's put one end on there and just carefully touch it to don't now you don't want to touch it to the end here you want to touch it to the electrode itself and you can see we're at six thousand three hundred ohms so that's good now, now this one right here is from a weed whacker. Connect that one up, and you'll see it's extremely low, the reading. And it comes out to 0 or 0.1 because there's no built-in resistor. So the center electrode with the cold test shows that the center electrode is fine on both. Now, once you experience starting problems, ignition problems, or a weak spark, the first thing I would do is take out the spark plug and inspect it. You can tell a lot about how the engine is running just by looking at the electrode, the end of the spark plug. You could tell if your piston rings are worn. You could tell if the carburetor setting is not right or if it's running too lean or too rich just by looking at the end of the spark plug. Once you've tested to make sure the center electrode is what it should be, as you saw this one without the resistor was almost zero ohms, and the one from a van is roughly 6,300 ohms. The next test you're going to do, and hopefully when you remove it from the engine it's very clean, it should look like this one right here. If it does, then we're ready to do the next test. If it doesn't, if it's all full of gunk and oil, then it's best to take some brake cleaner shoot a whole bunch of brake cleaner in there to dissolve all the gook and grime that might be accumulated. Now the test that's going to let you know if this is working right or not is you're going to check on a very high setting. We're going to put this up to the 20 mega ohm range. You're also going to want to make sure there's something non-conductive like a piece of plastic or glass that you can lay the spark plug on so you don't have any interference with the test. Place the spark plug on there. Then you're going to take one probe, connect it to where the spark plug boot would go on. And then the other probe is going to go 
to the body itself right here. All right. When you check between the part where the boot would go on, that feeds the voltage through the center electrode to the end, and to the body itself, anywhere along here, you should not have any reading at all. Try the highest setting that you have. You want to make sure, at least at the 20 meg setting, 10 meg should work fine too, that there is no reading at all. Now, if you don't get any reading between the body and the part where the boot connects on to the electrode, at the 10 meg or 20 meg range or higher, then this plug is fine. You're going to also want to check it. Don't forget when it's hot. When it's hot, when the engine's been running, take the plug out, check the center electrode again on a low ohms range, and then switch back to the high range of, on my case, it's 20 megs, and go between the end and the body. Nothing should happen. If something happens and you get a reading of 4 megs or 5 megs or 3, whatever it is, you're going to want to check between the electrode tip and the ceramic part where it connects down into the body. You may have some sort of grime in there or carbon that's allowing the center electrode to short out to the body. If that happens, you're not going to get spark and the engine may start intermittently and you'll have very poor performance. So you can get a wire brush, maybe a brass one, and take some brake cleaner and jet it in there and clean it. Once that's done, take a piece of sandpaper, 400 grit, place it between the electrodes, and just go like that. Both sides are being cleaned. Once that's done, blow it clean, make sure there's no sand in there. And then you could do your regapping and check everything to make sure it's fine. If it still comes up the same way, you're going to have to toss it out and get a new one. I can't tell you how many times I've seen people say the plug is the problem. They go out and they spend a lot of money on an NGK or a different brand to only find out later it was not the plug. So there's absolutely no reason for you to not be able to check out your spark plug to see if it's good or bad. When that problem happens, when you get the high resistance between the end and the body, it's going to pose more of a problem on the ones without a resistor because your spark is going to be down to next to nothing and the engine may not start at all. But on a vehicle with a resistor in it like this, the ignition system is very high energy and it is able to overcome that little bit of a connection between the body and the tip. The engine will probably still start up, but it just might not run right. So you definitely want to check each and every one of your plugs, like I told you. The electrode from here to the tip. Make sure that it's either 0 ohms or close to it with no resistor, or between four and 6,000 ohms with the resistor and then check for the high resistance between this part here where the boot goes on and the body. If both of those tests pass, you know for sure there's nothing wrong with this plug as long as you tested it when it was cold and hot. This test has never failed me and I've been using it for years. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please rate it a thumbs up, subscribe, and post links to this video on other websites and blogs. Also be sure to check out my video playlist as well.